Hey y'all, it's Will the Deep Sky Dude and I'm back with a quick video. This one's gonna be on this LRO animation of the moon phases of 2018. It's packed with awesome information. I'm gonna try to break some of this stuff down for you guys and let's go take a look at it. So the first thing I wanna look at on this is the upper left hand corner. You see the earth as it's animated. You can see it's rotating on its axis. And you see there the day and night side. You can also see the gray circle around the Earth is the moon's orbit. Now notice the white line that's following the moon is where the moon used to be. And you can see that it's going from inside to outside on this gray line, denoting that the moon's orbit is not a perfect circle. It's more of an ellipse, which is very cool. It's useful information to have. That little ram symbol there, that's the symbol for the constellation Aries. And note that Aries doesn't change position on the sky, so note that it just stays in the same point. Below that and to the left, we have the libration and position angle animation. And you can see the phase of the moon is represented there. You can also see how the moon rocks right and left, right and left. That's called libration and the moon is wobbling as it goes around the earth and, and so we have an animation to show us exactly what's going on there. These lines at the top are in degrees, five degrees each uh, with north right there being 360 or zero and the rest falling in accordance with that. So we can see how many degrees the moon tilts back and forth in its libration. The yellow and blue dots are the subsolar and sub-earth points and that's useful information. If you're standing on the moon, you know exactly where the sun and the earth are above you or where you'd have to be for them to be directly 90 degrees above you. If we go over here to this middle bar in the, in the center, this is going to show us an animation of the earth, of course, on the left. And then on the right, we're going to see this yellow circle is the moon itself. And the numbers 28, 30, and 32, those are just telling us how many Earth diameters the moon is away from the Earth. And that's particularly interesting info, and it correlates with the animation on the top left. So you can see visually how far the moon goes out and comes back in. On the bottom right here, we have the ephemeris data. We have time, phase, diameter, distance, position, sub-solar, sub-Earth, and position angle. Position angle is just what I said over here on this left-hand animation. It's describing how many degrees off of the north axis it's swinging. And that's useful information to tell you about its libration. And that actually lets you see craters on the, the far side of the moon sometimes when they just tilt just into view. You can catch them and then they'll tilt out of view sometimes. The time is very self-explanatory. That just tells you the time of day that it is, uh, day, month, year, and universal time. Phase is how, how much of the moon's surface is illuminated, or how much of the, the moon face towards us is illuminated. And you can see it there to the right of that, how old it is in days. The diameter is just how wide the moon appears on our sky. It's not actually like the diameter of the moon is changing, it's how it appears. The distance is done in kilometers and Earth distance. Earth's uh, position is right ascension and declination, so that's where it is located on the sky at that particular point. The subsolar and sub-Earth points, we've discussed that. that. That just tells you where the sun and the Earth would be 90 degrees overhead. Lots of really cool information in this thing. I hope I helped you understand a little bit more about it. The labeling of the craters is a great touch. I love the, that they do this every year, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a happy new year, and we'll see you in 2018.